I thought yesterday it was not embarrassing and painful to watch as it was previously, uh, even with the absolutely uh, atrocious uh, treatment of Tim Sloan, a, a quiet, heroic figure at Wells Fargo, as Congress then just a, a week or so ago seemed to again confuse the good guys and the bad guys. John Stump is the guy they, they did go after before two years ago, and they're right to pursue him now, but not Tim Sloan. Yesterday, we had a, a, a seemingly uh, sensible exchange. Sometimes some of the questions were not per really? perfectly well phrased, and it's uh, making a punching bag out of bankers over, over comp is something, if you wanted, we could talk about. Uh, but I, I thought that, the, uh, the, that there was no finger pointing, no name calling, uh, no histrionics, just the usual uh, limited amount of grandstanding, but it still it still took place from from Congress, and uh, I was surprised that uh, the Jamie, while he dominated, he, the the other bankers had a chance to speak as well. They they of course defer to him as uh, as the the great orator and uh, and responsible voice in banking. I don't know, Heidi, I think anybody there would probably want to be the one who's talking the least yesterday. That would <laughs> I think be my so. guess. I, had, I liked Lloyd's tweet when I he saw them all yeah. standing in a row right. saying, boy, I miss wow. my old wow. job. Yeah. <laughs> the truth from Lloyd. Do you think yeah. there's any regulations that come as a result of this? Because no. I always look at these no. types of, of things, we all call them theater, but they become, the, but, the, the theater can turn into yeah. something if moments, therefore, turn into sort of public outcries and therefore then turn into legislation. I, I think this was a status quo hearing. Andrew, I think that what's going to come from this is nothing. They tried to poke some holes and, and say we've, we've got a looming or growing problem um, in terms of over leverage and we may have another bubble. And I think that was done away with pretty handily by the CEOs. I think that they were right the in identifying those things that are a problem. Jeff? I think the senator is exactly right. Uh, and uh, Congressman uh, Patrick McHenry captured it very well in his summary. That, uh, that this was a hearing in search of a headline. I wish he felt that way when he led the attacks, uh, even though he's a Republican, led the attacks wrongly against, again, Tim Sloan the prior week, but this time uh, is uh, focusing on China, cybersecurity. They could have spent a lot more time on that, uh, but using these bankers as the poster child, poster children, for uh, in, in any inequality issues and income disparity is kind of crazy. It's uh, it, you know, there are, the media India industry is so much worse. You know, we had uh, Les Moonves uh, making uh, $70 million a year, uh, at, at, of course, uh, at CBS, and, uh, with, and with terrible performance, Philip DeMond making, uh, making more, and nobody's asking those questions. Uh, you've got people today in other industries that are making uh, four times what yesterday's CEOs were making. And these aren't people that necessarily have anything at risk. The CEO of Broadcom is making four times what the city, CEO of Citigroup is making. Where the, the questions of why you know, public safety workers in New York and school teachers are, are making 65, 70, at topping out at, at $80,000 a year, is, there's misplaced allocation, but I don't think it's the, the fault of the bankers. It's like Willie Sutton. We go after them because that's, that's where the money is. But I think these are the questions their constituents are asking, why they're not getting ahead. And it seems like the rich, the income disparity is off the rails and continues to spike in the wrong direction. And so, you know, the you senator, know, the, I get senator, that you don't what? want to pick on one group or the other, but you've got to address this problem as a systemic economic challenge for this country. We, we do, but, but I wouldn't focus on the bankers other than that they're an easy target, like the bank robber Willie Sutton said, go after the bankers, that's where the money is, is that, is that if you take a look at, you know, Paraguay or Cameroon or China, they have a, a worse Gini index. The U.S. is not the worst. There are plenty of Sweden. We're not that much worse. Amazing than the egalitarian Sweden. We should correct it.